I'll fix this div width and I want it to be in the center. For that, I'll just select div, then use the width 400 pixels. And I'll use the background of green. Now, I want this element to be at the center. We know that the property margin is responsible for adding space. We'll use it to move this element to the center by using it. But before that, I need to remove any margin within this document. If you select the body, you see that by default, I have a margin 8 pixels here at each edge of the document. I need to remove that. And for that, I will use body. Then margin 0 to force this default margin 8 pixels. Save that. Now we don't have any margin. If I select body again, margin is not defined at all, which means zero. To center this element in this document, we need to do our calculation. We have a free space that needs to be distributed in the left and the right. Okay, this calculation means that we have a div that has 400 pixels and we have a body which has 640 pixels. How I know that div, I already defined it here, 400 pixels. If we check the element body, you see that I have 640. To calculate the free space is equal to body mine div is equal to the element of the whole document here minus the width of the div okay which means 240 pixels to distribute this 240 pixels for both edges so we need to use margin left and margin right and we need to divide this 240 pixels by two okay let's just do that so we have 240 pixels as the free space which which needs to be distributed in the left and the right of this element so for that i will use margin left 120 pixels okay and same for the margin right and save that the element now is centered but will deceive you a little bit what if i just put this page in a full screen no the element is not centered why because we do a calculation of 640 minus 400 pixels now this value is changing body is not 640 which means that the free space will not be the same this 120 on the left and the right will change but you don't have to do that manually we need a value which will define that automatically. Okay, let's just select the div here. And from the box model, we have this 120 pixel at the left and the right. And there is a value that can be used, which is O, so which will be auto at the left and auto at the right. Okay, let's just move to the code. Instead of 120 pixels, I'll use auto, save that. And now the element is centered, even if I keep changing the size. If we click in computed here, sure, we'll see that this margin left and margin right, they are calculated automatically. I'm not defining this 289. I'm just defining overall at margin left and margin right. And this is what the calculation is doing. So overall will calculate all of that automatically. Now let's just simplify the code a little bit. So instead of using margin left and margin right, okay, let's just comment that. We'll use margin zero for the top and the bottom and overall for the left and the right. Save that and we have the same result. Now we'll go through another use case when we'll use negative value for the margin property. So from the code, we have two divs, element one and element two. And from the CSS code, I just defined the width globally for any div within this document to 300 pixels. Then I just changed the background for element one and element two to be different. What do I want to achieve is just to move this element two to the top of element one by 10 pixels. Okay, if I use margin top, 10 pixel, it will just go to the bottom, which means that I need instead of using a positive value, using a negative value. Now the element two is at the top of element one, we move by 10 pixels. If you want to just go by 60 pixels, now the element will just move to the top of the other element.